Hello guys, welcome to Passive Hunt. In this video, I am going to review Meta API. It's a new lifetime deal on AppSumo and it's basically a API automation tool. And one thing to clarify that it's a little bit techy tool. You need you need some coding knowledge to use this Meta API. So these are the things guys and they are saying that they are the alternative of Pipedream and AutoCAD. And it's best for web developer, software engineer and IT teams that want to automate services without native integration so meta api is an open api platform that lets you accelerate your code authentication deployment and monitoring processes now if i scroll down then you will see their pricing this is their lifetime deal pricing guys and as you can see they are offering you up to license tier 3 and on license tier 1 you will get 5 users 1 year of monitoring unlimited spells per month and unlimited request for development and testing so all things are basically same the difference are in this number of user so if you need uh, more number of users then you have to upgrade the license tier basically and the lifetime deal pricing of meta api starts at 99 usd and you can get at least 10 percent discount in all this pricing just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount link and if you see their other features that you will get with all these uh, license tiers, they are advanced reporting, code editor, auto complete debugger, NPM dependencies and payload management that have meta storage. So you will get here storage, connectors management, deployment management in one click that have a spell lifecycle reporting, auto reporting, three dev environment per spell scheduler runner advanced debugger and email notification so these are the things guys here have on this meta api now if i scroll down then you will see they have a public roadmap here if i go through this um, link then you will see the roadmap maybe here uh, let it be load please so i have to log in on notion but i do not want to log in on notion right now but you can see their public roadmap from here so if you're interested to see their roadmap then you can see their roadmap from here so these are the things guys now let's go to the dashboard of meta api and let's see what have inside their dashboard but before going to their dashboard one thing i want to know you that i have created a vip lifetime deal discussion group on facebook if you wish to join here you can join here and if you're interested to discuss on various up-to-date lifetime deal then you can also join here and these lifetime deals will help you to grow your business and also help you for your personal growth so these are the things guys now this is the dashboard of meta api as you can see it's very minimal and there have a very few options mainly the major options are these five options home to statistics in home this is basically dashboard you will see here the summarization of your work that means you will see here all your spells all your error reported schedule calls then you will see average launches that means you will see here all your uh, summary report here on this home section nothing else and there have a spell now what is a spell a spell is basically here automation and meta api call it a spell that means if you create a spell then you are creating a automation basically and there have option a spells you can create here just by clicking create a new spell or you can go through this spell section and here also have this option you can create new spell and all the spells you will create here you will see all your spell here in this section so these are the things guys as you can see i have created one spell already now in this video for video purpose i will create another spell to show you how to create new spells and what have inside their spells if i click on create a new spell then as you can see there have 18 popular api but you can also use more api here see there have google calendar hubspot crm google my business then cyan api google spreadsheet airtable similar web gmail github azopio then there have stripe octobat discord pipedrive then there have penilen spotify slack and mailjet but one thing i want to clarify that these are not the all api that are supported by meta api there have a lots of api i want to show you the api at first that are supported by meta api if i go to this 
catalog of api you will see all the api that are supported by meta api and there have two types of api public api and private api these are the public api guys see there have a lots of api google calendar hubspot crm google my business cna api google spreadsheet airtable similar web gmail github then azopio stripe october discord pipe drive penny lane there have spotify slack mailjet then riot games quickbooks there have all the things see you can see google drive i will show you major things google search console there have uh, uptime robot google maps then there have uh, these all the things see giphy browse api gitlab there have data regression and there have air quality index see there have a lots of lots of public api wordpress api version 2 there also have there have api for send in blue and for sakari zoom connect whatsapp business api there also have octopush twilio then there have get response api sms mood signal request type form blink and if i scroll down there have bitly api panda doc there have um, see these are the api google cloud billing api google cloud testing api google bigquery api bigquery data transfer then there have see google ads api there also have ups address validation then there have api for integromate it's very popular and there have pay green j2 analytics there have a lots of api see and these are all the public api they have api for salesfare they have api for flow loo agile salesforce machine learning linkedin dialog flow sage intact then there have woocommerce api workday api google data studio api so there have lots of lots of api see guys uh, there have google docs google analytics google compute engine google cloud data flow google cloud dns i'm not reading here all the api but as you can see there have lots of lots of api there have notion api dropbox for business api dropbox api a lots of api there have and this all are public api see i'm scrolling down and see what are the api that they are offering there have api for clickup see this is the clickup api and telegram bot api there have um, api for see canada holidays there have api for youtube analytics also so these are the things guys they have a lots of api they have api for youtube so these are the things guys they have a lots of lots of api you can use any api you want to use from here see uh, it's not ending so it's this is the end guys they have api for twitter so these are the things guys this apis they have for as public api they are also have an option for private api if i go through this private api then you can add your private api just by clicking here add an api and here insert the information that it want then you can use your private api also through this meta api so these are the things guys and if i go through this spells again here i will create a new spell just click here create a new spell here you can search any api you need suppose i will use here maybe google calendar or maybe google spreadsheet or maybe gmail anything you can uh, use here suppose i will use here google calendar so i am selecting here google calendar and here have the types of your api what type of api you want to use create a secondary calendar or delete a secondary calendar use calendars clear for clearing all events on primary calendar there have returns metadata for a calendar updates metadata for a calendar this method supports patch semantics then there have updates metadata for a calendar so there have a lots of types of apis see you can use any one of them there have a lots of lots of you have to read and you have to go through all this and then you have to use any one that need for your business or for your work and you can see the details just by clicking here show details so these are the things guys you can see all the details from here so these are the things suppose i will use here create a secondary calendar just select here use and after creating the secondary calendar what i want to do here you have to select what i want to do or what you want to do just click here add and suppose i want to send the data to a google spreadsheet that means i will create a google calendar then i will send the data on a google spreadsheet so just select it you can do anything you want it's just test purpose guys so i am selecting here google spreadsheet and here have again 
the different types of API. Suppose creates a spreadsheet returning the newly created spreadsheet returns the spreadsheet at the given ID. The caller must specify the spreadsheet ID by default data within grids will not be returned. So these types of um, API or these types of work you can do here. There have description what this uh, section or what this feature will do for you. Suppose I will use the first one creates a spreadsheet returning the newly created spreadsheet. Just select here use. So you can uh, click here again add and you can um, here bring another feature if you want. That means it's kind of automation. What do you want to do after what? That means after adding the Google Calendar, I want to add the data on Google Spreadsheet. And then if I want to do one another thing, then just I have to click here add button and I have to bring the feature. So these are the things guys. It's just a workflow. You have to set up your workflow and after setting up your workflow, just select here configure two connectors and then here you have to authenticate your Google account just by click here one click auth with meta API. Also, you can save this workflow without authenticate right now. In my case, I will not authenticate it right now, but you can authenticate just by clicking here. And after that, just click here save and continue. And here give the name or title of your spell and here uh, describe the purpose of your spell. So these are the things and then click on create your spell. So see this is the spell that have been created now. If you are a technical person then definitely you know what these things are saying. You can customize anything you want from here or if you keep it as it is then it will work by default as it is set up. So these are the things guys after that they have connectors. If I click on this connector see they are, they are asking again API so you can use new API from here if you want to use so these are the things guys basically here i am not using here any other connector but you can use if you want and after editing all the things then just click on save so these are the things guys now if i go through this spells again see this is the new spell that i have been created right now so these are the things guys you can create unlimited spell if you get this lifetime deal from here see unlimited spells but the difference is only in this number of users so these are the things guys basically and after that we have already explored this catalog for API after that they have open spells now what this open spells is open spells is basically some pre-made template you can use these templates that created by the authority or by the team of meta API there have 20 spells now available I hope it will increase day by day so what is open spells open spell is basically pre-made template you can use these templates if you wish to use by one click so these are the things and after that they have statistics you will see here all the statistics basically see external request and number of request on meta api average execution time and active spell so these are the things guys and after that they have logs you will see here all the things you have done here on this meta api and they have api's authentication option you can create here new api and then you can authenticate these things from here so on this option, you can authenticate your API and then if you create a spells from this section, then you don't have to authenticate these things again. After that, there have meta API key here. You can generate your API key from here and by default one API key has been generated, but you can create as many API key you want. So these are the things guys. These are the major features here available on meta API and they have support system here and they have a documentation on how to use all the things see this is the documentation getting started then spell connectors authentication deployment api catalog so you can go through all this and you can read it step by step and how to use it you can learn and these things from here so these are the things guys on meta api and it's a little bit uh, techy platform you need some coding knowledge to use it i think so if you think you need these types of API automation tool for your business or for your personal growth, then you can use this platform or you can get this lifetime deal from AppSumo. I will give the 10% discount link of this Meta API lifetime deal in the description of this video. So just go to the description of this video and get the 10% discount link of Meta API. It's an affiliate link guys. If you use this link to purchase this amazing deal, 
I will get a small commission without costing you any additional costing. So if you think this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal. And guys if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel as if I go through this analytics of YouTube most of the viewers of this YouTube channel has not subscribed this channel see 90% of the viewers of this channel has not been subscribed yet so please consider subscribing this channel it will help me a lot to grow thank you so much guys if you think these types of video is helpful for you then please consider subscribing this channel and thanks again for watching this video